Hello again, my name's Mark and welcome to RC Hacker. Now I've got version 2 of my uh, Sidewinder. It's not really a tricopter anymore, I don't know what to call it, but um, I've, what, basically what I've done, I found the motors with all the, with the simulated weight of the FPV gear, that's those two batteries, I just found the whole thing was the motors were getting a little bit too hot, especially with this big 2000 200 milliamp hour battery on it. So I've gone for three cell. I added two extra motors, and now these are mainly just load bearing motors. There's no servos on those. And as before, there's a servo on each of the other motors. Now I do I do some mixing so I can enable two extra degrees of movement. So a sideways movement like that, and the forwards and back movement like that. In addition to your traditional upwards movement and your roll, pitch and of course your. So and all this is controlled with the extra thumbstick on the bottom of my radio here. So um yeah second maiden, let's give it a go. Okay, so I've just got to do a bit of um, a few little changes to my mixing. Now I've got the two extra motors. When I when I go to use the secondary input there, it's rising because I've had a little bit of throttle mixed in with that. So bear with me. I'll go through the. It's all a fine tuning process. You didn't get to see it on the first version. I'm either just using the thumbstick or like trying to mix both in at the same time is really quite difficult. Currently I've got the auto level on while it's flying. I think the gain of the yaw might be good. I've definitely got that panning motion, which is the whole aim of this. I want to keep the camera level, be able to move sideways, backwards and forwards, without needing a, any sort of gimbal or, you know, without tilting the graph. I'm really happy with this. Now, the motors are working much less harder, particularly with those smooth, they're not pivoting at all. So that means all I all I need to do is just work on the lift. I think I mixed them in about 50% for roll. That's about it. And 
and it's just as maneuverable as the original tricopter platform. Except my battery's twice as big and I've got enough weight here to carry a GoPro, an extra camera and all the transmitting gear as well. Plus those extra two degree, two degrees of uh, movement. going to be my new FPV craft. And I'm also hoping that the extra motors will give me a little bit of extra reliability as well. I've still got a bit of fit to play with the mixing so it doesn't yaw so much when I do that side to side motion. But yeah, this is great. I'm really happy with this. Hovers at just a little tad over half throttle, which is nice. As far as center of gravity goes, I've just, you know, it's it's very uh, estimate for the center of gravity is what I've done now, but. Um, I am going to work on that. I want to get a slightly lighter battery, probably a 1800 or maybe a 2000 milliamp hour pre cell. But yeah, it's, it's just brilliant. As maneuverable as my original tricopter. However, it is a lot heavier. The original tricopter weight, uh, I think the flying weight was 2,000, uh, 220 grams. This, I weighed it, it's about 600 grams. That's with the simulated weight for the, um, all the FPV gear. So all that's going to go on top of it, on the front there where the, um, those two C-cell batteries are the same weight as the GoPro and uh, all the other radio gear. It's a little bit of trimming, but that'll come. Right, and that's my battery. Now the batteries. Oh, she's, she's a little bit warm, not, not too warm, um, it's a 25C uh, Zippy Compact. And I've got another one that's charged, so um, unfortunately I reset the radio while I was doing the trimming, so I don't know my battery life, but I've got another fully charged battery and I'll plug that in and we'll figure out our battery life. Um, as before, I want to 
I want a particular, <clears throat> I want a camera platform that doesn't have a gimbal, that's nice and stable, lets me do these nice panning shots, fight against the wind without tilting the, the entire frame. Other applications could be, you know, you could set up an entirely separate control system for your main stabilisation system to do stuff like drain and put avoidance like that, you know, there are quite a few possibilities for this, and I love the extra, um, it's like learning to fly all over again, I don't know what happened there, my camera stopped recording. So, so as I was saying, I think I'm the first person to actually do anything like this with a little uh, multi-copter like this. And I saw one guy on YouTube who put four servos on each propeller on a quadcopter. But uh, he only hooked it up to his yaw. He didn't do any mixing like this to enable a proper panning mo movement. Now, I'm not a big believer of patents. Uh, I'm not going to patent this one here. I'm going to share this with everyone. Now I'm doing most of my flying here with the auto level on. Uh, until I get a bit more practice. I haven't been flying these for a while so got a little bit of work to do on the mixing just to I want it to be able to if I point it sideways with that little PS2 stick I want it to go sideways but the motion it definitely happens Excess of power, which is what I really like. Father's built a quadcopter using the same combination of oh, a siren going past.
father has built a quadcopter with the same um, combination of motors and ESCs and everything, except he surrounded the whole thing with foam and he reckons it's... Yeah, he loves it. It's his first quadcopter as well and he's pretty safe to crash it without it being damaged at all. Balsa wood foam, his little hexatronic motors and the 5 by 3 props. That's brilliant. Always the way you get a bit of overconfident. Alright, that's my battery done. So, my throttle time. What are we clocking at? There's a lot of reflections there. 10.53 total air um, flight time and 5.28 is the scaled throttle time. So. You know, I was about 50% throttle at most of the time there, so that all adds up. I'll just disarm this. So yeah, 10 minutes flight time, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's normally plenty for a good little FPV flight, and by then you, you know, you're getting a bit nervous or, you know, it's usually long enough, by then you need a break, so. Um, yeah, really happy with it. Uh, watch this space. I'm hoping to, you know, get back into my FPV with this. Should be a little bit more reliable than my um, little mini tricopter. So, cheers. Thanks for watching.